I think it goes without saying that I have a lot of shit everywhere, and I'm kind of running out of space to put it. Before I actually move all this crap, I'm gonna take these down, I'm gonna try and fix the wall up a little bit, then I'm gonna put some shelves up along this wall here, uh, which just came with the house, so it doesn't cost me anything. So the first step is gonna be taking these down, store them somewhere for now, fix this wall up, put shelves up. That's my plan for today. So first thing I'm gonna do is just start removing this crap. Probably make room to actually work on stuff. Ah well. Oh, good. We have nails holding this on. Ugh, oh, god damn it. Why? We shouldn't have to reuse this. Why is everything so expensive right now? It'd be so much easier just to rip these down and get new ones. But then I'm looking at like $200 to build new ones. So realistically, I'm saving a lot of money to do this. So I removed one of the screws, the drywall screws, another screw, another drywall screw. That one there's stripped. And we're kind of detached from the wall here. It's just that nail and the one on the other side. Let's remove this. Pretty much removed. What are we stuck on? We're stuck on the stripped screw. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Here we are. Glad those nails did absolutely nothing. Oh god, this wall is disgusting. Okay. Anyway. Continuing. Wow. Wait, does this work? Robertson screws over there. And more Robertson screws. Okay, need a different bit. Oh yeah, that's safe. That's safe. Oh my god. Okay, we got one there, two there. Seriously, seriously, only three screws holding this thing on? Oh my god, this is heavy. Whoa. Interesting. Well, this is annoying as hell. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I don't even know, man. One screw there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, so we have seven screws. This is really fucking annoying. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. God fucking damn. Fuck. God damn. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck off. Fuck you. Hey, much better. Ah, fuck. God damn it. All right. Mm hmm just gonna get right in here. All right, safety third. Oh my God. All right, cool. Every part about that sucked. So I just gotta clean up that wall. Then I can put the shelves up. Uh-huh, oh yeah, yeah, just sweep the wall. This is normal. I know that one will be fine. That one might be an issue for drywall putty. We have a little bit of movement right here. Otherwise, it's good. I think that'll be fine. Now it's time for drywall putty. Fun. I just finished sanding the whole thing down while the camera was charging. I used 120 grit. Oh my god. Now I have to go down all of these. Not really any rhyme or reason to this. It's just, it'll be, you know, mildly nicer. So when it comes time for paint, who knows how long. So I'm just gonna carry on with this. So I got the shelves from inside of the house, got all the brackets and whatever, some screws. Uh, the way I wanna have this set up is I want the shelves to be 18 inches apart. From here to here is 18 inches, and from here to the ceiling, I want it to be 18 inches. So I just have to kinda hold this up to one of the studs, measure 18 inches, and drill it in. And then make sure it's straight, and do the middle one and the bottom one. So it's pretty easy. But what I'm trying to figure out right now, whether or not I want this in the stud closest to the wall and then over here, so that blue paint that's on the wall there, to the right side of it is the next stud. So they'll either go there and then the shelves will sit across those, or do I want to make it centered between the wall and the window, which would be to like the darker portion of the blue paint on the wall. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking centered will just look a little bit better. Plus it also eliminates the fact that I can't pile stuff up against the wall in one corner because if stuff can fall off, then my brain will tell me to keep it organized or things will be falling off the shelf. Where if it's up against the corner, then you know, I'm just gonna like shove things over and then it'll get super disorganized and chaotic and whatever. I was gonna sand it and then I decided not to uh, because I can just quickly take these shelves down when I'm ready to paint because uh, this garage is not in any condition to be painting right now anyway. Anyway, there's still lots to fix. So I figure at least with the wall cleaned up a little bit, some of the damage repaired, can put the shelves up, make it functional. And then once the time actually comes to paint, I can finish the rest of the little things, like taking that two by four off the wall, removing that shelf there, uh, actually centering this door frame, 
because it was literally just cut between studs and like they hacked off the one at the top there and like smashed it with a hammer so it's like super rough so at a later date i can actually cut this out more and center it because this is directly in the center of the garage so the door will actually come down like this i can build a frame and everything and then seal that portion back up the garage is in no condition to be painting because there's so many other repairs to do so I'm just gonna put these shelves up. And I'm gonna be 18 inches from here. Take this, put it right here. That's 18. Now, I can just make sure that this is level. So it's nice and level right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 18 inches to the top of that there. Bingo, bango. Make sure that's straight, right there. Now in hindsight, I probably should've waited until that drywall putty was dry. Oh well, still has to be sanded anyway. I'm not really too concerned. These are gross. So this is 18, and that is 15. So I gotta move this over an inch and a half. So that's 16 and a half, and 16 and a half. So that's perfectly centered. And that's 16 and a half, and this is 16 and a half. Deadly. Alright. Hi, puppy! Hello! Are you putting these shelves up for me? Yeah? Anybody? These already kind of have like a droop to them just because they're so old and they came at the house. So like, who knows how old these actually are. The inside here to there is 63 inches. So I need to do 31 and a half to the center for this guy. 31 and a half, right over there. And now this can just go up here like that. Keep that centered. Battery's dead. Last time I charged this battery was when I started doing the deck. I did the entire thing on this one battery. And like, this is the smallest one they make. This is the two amp hour battery. I can't even imagine that new 15 amp hour one that they made. For how frequently I use this stuff, I'd literally have to charge that like once a year. Like these things are just insane. Okay, one done. Now we can do this one. Ah, well that's a problem. That's gonna hit right there. Damn it. <sighs> I thought the shelves were gonna be easy. And I gotta remove that anyway. So let's take this down. Let's try and go right on the stud. Oh yeah. Quality stuff, that one. And repeat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make room. Ah, oh, god damn it, this sucks. This is probably the point when I find out this ends up being like some kind of ridiculous structural piece because nothing in here was built to code. That'd be awesome. Okay. Another one here. Trusty hammer. There's like a million goddamn things in here. Don't hit the window. Uh. There's so many nails. Come on, let's go. Yeah, uh-huh. You're almost there. Okay, I guess we just need a little bit of persuasion. There we are. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to clean these shelves. They're so gross. 16, 17, 16 and a half, 16 and a half. Would you look at that? Now, what was the center point again? That far. So let's just like, yeah, like that. And then, yeah, like that. Okay, so that should be 31 and a half. Uh-huh, 31 and a half. Now you're gonna take the big side, right there. And I'll just line it up with those marks. Right in the center, where that level go? Make sure I didn't screw anything up. There we go. And there we go, okay, we're good, we're golden. Okay. Okay, cool, two shelves are done. And realistically, I actually just made it significantly worse in here because now I have these cabinets sitting everywhere. Then there's the other one beside the car that I gotta figure out whatever the hell I'm doing with. Oh god, I just inadvertently created more work for myself by trying to be organized. I mean, that's basically it. Um, I just ended up using it for all the DeWalt stuff, just to kind of keep it all organized. I sanded the wall down a bit, I did a little bit more drywall putty, and I don't know, it's alright. I mean, compared to how it was, it's significantly better, and that's essentially all I was going for. So, now I just have to finish, uh, you know, everything else that I started. So, I don't know, like the video, uh, dislike it, 
subscribe if you haven't already, or I don't know, don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.